Get a backy strike, Raptor strike. A sniper for long range engagements. Proven to give you muscle. A chiseled chin. And a winning smile. Yeah, I might actually get around to unboxing this at some point. After all, I do need that chiseled chin. Didn't work for this guy. The Nerf Accu Strike Falcon Fire! Oh, my bad. Easy mistake to make. And last but not least, the original Accu Strike Blaster, the Alpha Hawk. The front loading, much smaller brother of the Raptor Strike, which I don't have much left of. So squiddy, I can turn! I got the best one! This one's pretty cool too. Derp. Although, having said that, the Falcon Fire is pretty wicked and modded. Check out this card. The thing is that all of these blasters are either a sniper type blaster or a sidearm. What the Aki Strike line's missing, in my humble opinion, is a true support weapon. A sniper never goes out alone. They take someone with them. A wingman. Like me! Someone who's equipped to lay down supporting fire in case of a close engagement. The Aki Strike line's missing a support blaster. We are going to be predicting the future. Now, in predicting which blaster Hasbro's going to produce as their next Aki Strike blaster, we have a few things to consider. Firstly, all the AccuStrike blasters, including the Falcon Fire, have some kind of a faux barrel. A massive faux barrel. Secondly, the two rifle type blasters have got really funky stocks on them. Finally, the only mag-fed AccuStrike blaster has got a funky kind of clear mag. Well, we can't just have a six round mag in our support blaster. That would defeat the object. And all of these are orange. Yeah, none of these stocks are really funky enough. Well, that one's pretty cool. But it's not strike, And all these faux barrels are just too small. Apart from that one, which is just ridiculous. Where in the world are we going to find a suitable stock mag and barrel? If only Tactical Tang were here, he'd know what to do! But he's missing! Where is that ape when you need him? Who on earth is going to help us? Spider Tang. Spider Tang. Does whatever a spider tang does. Does he like to climb and hang? But of course, because he's a tang. Look out! Here's a spider tang. That's entirely correct, Mr. Spider Tang. Can you help? But of course! A donated Alpha Hawk barrel, Alpha Hawk stock, and funky 15 round banana mag from Rare Fun Toys. It's important that we have a fairly significant capacity to make up for the lack of capacity in the sniper type blasters. Perfect! Thanks, Spider Tang. Where'd he go? AccuStrike attachments. Who knew they existed? Like and subscribe if you think AccuStrike attachments are the funkiest things ever. We'll use a funky reflex sight on Falcon, Hawk, Raptor. There's one more thing these blasters are gonna need. They're all gonna need some kind of funky birdie name. Maybe with Greek letters. Tweety Theta! Yes, like Tweety Theta. Booby Theta! Yes, we get the idea. Do -do -data! Come on, Mr. T-Rex, it'd have to be a pretty terrible blaster to get that name. Let's make a star! One more thing, all of these blasters are actually orange. Use your imagination and imagine that they've got a squidgy hand on. So squidgy! The AccuStrike Raptor page. Slam firing goodness. AccuStrike Omicron Canary Recon. Old beats new with this AccuStrike blaster from the past. Uh, the AccuStrike Clear Kappa Cockatoo. AccuStrike Chic. Clearly. Give it a few years, guys. You know we're going to get Sonic AccuStrike blasters. The Modulus Recon MK2 becomes... The Modulus Magpie Kappa 2. See what I did there? MK Magpie? Anyway. I think this one's a real possibility because most of the other AccuStrike blasters at the moment actually have handguards. I additionally think that this AccuStrike blaster would benefit from targeting beamage. Seriously, I really like the Magpie Kappa 2. That fell off. The Theta Tanaja Strike. A Nerf Modulus Tri-Strike based model is also a distinctive possibility. The Tri-Strike is one of the longer blasters of its type, which makes it well suited to the AccuStrike line. Bolt Action Blasters also seems to be a reoccurring AccuStrike line theme, which makes the Tri-Strike doubly well suited. Finally, the AccuStrike line sees a lot of funky trigger action, and the Tri-Strike has this covered too. Plus, this gap is begging to be covered up with a little bit of squishy! The Trooper Toucan. The Alpha Trooper already has a built-in faux barrel. And the stock fits right in with the pump action assault rifle type goodness look. And stocks are a popular addition to the Alpha Trooper anyway. Down to the last two. Hope you're taking notes, Hasbro. Please leave a comment stating which of these blasters you think Hasbro is most likely to introduce to the AccuStrike line. I'm out here taking notes through my camouflage scope. The AccuStrike Battle Scout Booby. Seriously, the Battle Strike belongs up there. Where's it gone? And finally, the pièce de résistance. The AccuStrike Delta Dodo. Ploy. Come on, Hasbro, you know you want to. Hasbro, wish they thought of that. Don't tell anyone I said this, but this actually does look pretty cool. Who knows? Hasbro could have thought of some of these already.
wish I'd thought of that. Please go ahead and like if you think blasters like any of the ones you've seen in this video could be out in time for Christmas. Or in 2018. Almost time for you to go back up there. In the meantime, there's just one more thing to do. What's in the stock? Ooh, that looks very light. I might just have to take that out and review it next video. Get it? Light. Take. Heh. Look out! Here's a spider tang! Look out! Here's a spider tang!